In the era of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, Troy Carter did ask. He asked, what can we do for you? And he did tell. He told us how to defeat bills that were actually trying to kill us. Let me tell you how. I'm Larry Bagnera, and I'm the first openly gay person to run for public office in the city of New Orleans during the HIV AIDS epidemic. They wanted to tattoo everybody that was HIV positive in their status. That's like what they did to Jews in the concentration camp. Another bill that really impacted me personally was that they said if you assume a person was HIV positive and you kill them, it would be justifiable homicide. And I assume the representative from Shreveport that put that bill together, I assumed he'd be a nice guy. So one day I kept going back and forth to Baton Rouge and I asked him, I said, you know, I'm real concerned about the African-American community is really, really being impacted by this disease. And he said to me, F those as if they can't afford a five cent condom. Uh, that's where I met Troy Carter. We were faced with the pandemic of the AIDS crisis as well as the pandemic of homophobia. He sort of like guided us through and he said, look, you will never be able to defeat these bills unless you have a constituency around the state that's going to impact their local officials. So I traveled around the state and set up a network with all the community-based organizations to kill bills on the state level. If in those days, if we had not killed that bill, everybody walking around HIV positive today would have a tattoo in them, even though there's medications and all to take care of that. And so Troy really put himself out on a limb to make sure that our community was serviced. We were able to kill 100 plus bills because of Troy's direction. Troy, I don't think you realize what you did for my community. You not only saved a lot of lives in terms of HIV AIDS, but you saved a lot of families because you stood with our community when kids were coming out to their parents, when they saw the council person or the state representative or the state senator stand up for the GLBTQ community, it gave parents a second thought about throwing their kids out of the house, about disowning their kids, or about making their kids uncomfortable for being who they truly were. For that, I will always respect and love you. Mm -hmm.